Before this video starts, I just want to say a big thank you to Alfie and his boss Ed at uh, Laidbank Pumping Station for sending me all the footage, this, that and the other. Also, another big shout out to Flatlands Aerial Photography. He's got a channel on YouTube. He's kindly let me have uh, permission to use some of his footage. Obviously, I'm in France. Laidbank Pumping Station is in Lincolnshire. I can't get my drone up that far. So a link to his channel will be in the description. Go and check him out if you're interested in Lincolnshire from the air. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with this video. Sitting quietly in the fenlands of Lincolnshire, there's a lonely little pumping station, chugging away to his heart's content. The catchment area for this pumping station is 12,632 hectares, which equates to 31,214 acres. Laidbank Pumping Station was built in 1867 as a consequence of peat shrinkage in the eastern fen. This lowered the land surface and the water had to be pumped into the higher southern half of the Hobbole drain. The original pumping station, built in 1867, was on the site of the earlier Laidbank Lock, constructed in 1805. From 1867, the engine house contained six boilers to raise the steam to operate the two pumps. The two pumps were named Waterwitch and Willow the Wisp. The pumps are no longer in the pump house, but they've still got the nameplates. One's at Laidbank Pumping Station and what the other is in the Boston office. This clip now is of the diesel engine that runs a 50 inch screw. That's driven by a 295 horsepower Ruston Hornsby four cylinder horizontal engine. Output of this pump is 3.79 cubic meters a second, or 3.79 tons of water per second. That equates to 227 tons, or 49,900 gallons per minute. Just for reference, 25 millimetres or one inch of rain produces approximately 100 tonnes of water per acre. The average rainfall is 575 millimetres, producing approximately 72 million tonnes of water over the laid bank pumping station catchment area. Two thirds, approximately 47.5 million tonnes of water, passes through the station each year. The remainder evaporates or is used by plants or is lost to underground flow. 